What's up guys, my name is Kel, and welcome back to more Let's Play Odin Sphere Leaf Thrizer. Alright, so, I uh, did a little couple things off screen, not anything relevant. I went to see if we could purchase any good food to, you know, level up, but we don't have any milk or cream or whatever. So, fuck it, yo. Also, let's just buy this right now. Repel enemy projectiles. Don't know if we'll need it, but we're fighting a bunch of elves and... Naked fairy ladies with bows. Actually, they're not naked. They got little fairy keenies going on. Um, but that's neither here nor there. Well, actually, it might be there. Let's go find out. Uh, here's our map. Uh, we're gonna head back and go down and uh, try to get that Fozon prism. Ooh, these mushrooms. Oh, I can't hit them. Bummer. Level 35. The Habaneristo. It's been a couple days once again since I've played. Um, eager to get back in. You know, I'm not. I'm, keep this blind. I only play this when I have time to actually record, and uh, you know, I can't record every day. So it, it's it's nice when I have some time to sit down, spend a couple hours, and just play some Odin Sphere. And, and I in Dark Souls 3, but um, right now we're playing some Odin Sphere. And I'm just kind of playing just. You know, off the top of my head, and that was a lot of fun. Like, not off the top of my head, I mean like, uh, like muscle memory. It was, it was a ton of fun. Let's see, what did we get? Oh yeah, I want to check out the story. I want to show you guys the, the story menu. Um, Blizzard. Uh, damaging snowstorm that, okay. No, 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 I don't want to increase that. I want to see what it does. So we need 265 to buff that up one more. Damn, it's a lot. Uh, let's see, needle strike. I want I want to level up my needle strike next. So that's what we're gonna do. Let's let's check out Blizzard and see if it uh is as cool as it sounds. Blizzard. Oh fuck, we can't even do it. Well, guess we're not doing Blizzard. Right, so let's head to the bottom. Do that uh this chest battle event so I just started watching a show that has been around for quite a while um, and my girlfriend really likes it and I've heard a lot about it but I've never actually seen it and that show is flight of the Concords um, it's basically a show about uh, these two New Zealand fellows living in the, in the States and it's really funny like it's a really good show it's on, um, it's an HBO show, I believe, so if you have HBO for Game of Thrones or whatever, then you can, you can totally watch it, and I highly recommend you watch it. It's, it's, uh, it's hard to de describe. They, they do songs and stuff, but they're, like, they're funny, and it's good stuff, good stuff. If you're already fans of Flight of, Flight of the Concords, then you know what I'm talking about. Anyway, Odin Sphere. Yeah, not much to say right now. We're gonna go... Oh man, I don't remember the... Oh, fuck. I said I was gonna look at the story. Let's actually look at the story. So here it is. So... <clears throat> Pardon me. So these are the, the five different, uh, I guess, campaigns. And these are the chapters in said campaigns. And, you know, here's obviously Valkyrie 01. And all the way down to where we currently are and it keeps going and there's like this shit I have no idea what this shit is I assume this is like an epilogue type thing maybe you only do this if you get a certain ending or something I really don't know but it does seem like well no this must be like you do this after you do these other five I would guess going completely blind that you do these five and then you do these five because, like, there's this gap between them, as well as, like, we're already, right now, further than whatever the character this is. So, yeah. It's pretty pretty interesting. Especially going in blind. Alright, so we can go... You know, let's just stay the course. I wonder what sort of exploration opportunities we have here. I wonder if you have to do specific things in order to unlock secret areas. I read the notes, and it kind of hinted at that, but um, I don't remember entirely. 
little turnies look like babies. I feel bad beating them up. Uh, yeah, still hit him. It's all good. I really like using the uh, the dodge attack. It's not really attack. I like using the dodge in order to like move around. I think it's a very good way to position your character. Well, I shouldn't say your character. I should say Gwendolyn because I'm not entirely sure if it's as good on the other characters. I think it is. From what I've played in the demo, I think it's as good with them. In regards to like positioning and setting up attacks. Wrecking these fucking dudes. It's material. Get out of here. Get out of here. What is this? Chocolate fondant. Sounds delicious. We need to get some milk so we can make uh, an apple sorbets. Ooh, that's a. Oh no, no, it's a item up. <clears throat> Not item upgrade. Uh, carrying capacity upgrade. That's pretty sweet. Get out of here, fairy. They don't have a whole lot of health, though I am slightly overleveled. And actually, it's not that bad right now. Really, ice elemental? That's weird. It's weird that there are ice elementals in this forested area. That doesn't make a whole lot of sense. I mean, I guess elves are nature-y by nature, by their nature. <laughs> I don't know how to put it. They do naturey stuff. So it makes sense that having elements on their side, you know, is a thing. Though, frost seems weird. I wonder if we're ever going to actually need to spend stuff. I can't wait to play this again in uh, on hard. I think I'm going to do a hard no death challenge after this run. And, uh, yeah. I don't know how that's gonna go. I'm probably gonna have to do. Ooh. I'm... Oh, now it's gone. Whatever. I think it was a, uh. It was a. One of these jabronis. No big deal, though. Suck the laugh force out of this, uh. Butterfly. Oh, just do the. There we go. I don't know. I figured that's the best way to check to see if the entire wall. Um, if you can, like, go through it at all. Alright, so, let's see. We'll, we'll just head... Oop, enemies. There we go. Yeah, they died pretty quick. I'll be interested to see how, um, the other characters play. Ooh, wait, wait. Oh, you... I don't know if you're supposed to be able to do this. Look, I went through the... Interesting. Oh, that's just how you get up there. Okay, I see. I was, I was, I said I wasn't sure if you're able to do this because if you look on the top, it looks like it's a solid thing. But you can just walk through it. This is what those mushroom thing must have meant. There's a the tip like, oh, you can do stuff with mushrooms or some shit. And there were mushrooms at the entrance to that. So that's what it must have been alluding to. I think. Beatdown? That sounds sweet. What does beatdown do? Increased damage against down foes. Passive skill. Oh, sick. Definitely want that. But I think I'm going to level my needle strike up right now. Actually, I think I'll have enough to level the, the beatdown as well. I really like needle strike. Fuck it. Level it up. Attack plus one. Damage up. So, is that a damage up... For my character, or a damage up? Ooh. Increased damage against frozen foes. Or a damage up just across the board. Like, just a flat passive damage increase. I honestly have no idea. Uh, honestly, honestly, even, geez, fucking talking's hard. I don't think it matters. Just level it up when you can. And hope for the best. Actually, no, that was a secret. It didn't have that on the map. Interesting. What? For a set amount of time, your body will be miniaturized. Your defense significantly decreased. You can press 
in time to cure it, but if you reach a certain area before that... Huh. So wait, what am I... Hmm. I don't know where to use that on yet. Hmm. I'm gonna cure it for now. And then after we kind of explore more, we'll definitely have to check back. I, I really need to remember to do something with that. Mid-boss stage. Are we gonna fight a giant mushroom? Oh, it's just this guy. This is a little tiny mushroom man. Alright, we'll get wrecked a little mushroom. Uh oh, I think it's starting to split. Hey man, you brought this on yourself. Oh, that's the icicle lance thing that I got the last time. Whoop. We want the toxin. I feel bad just beating this little guy up. Whoa! Status effect, status effect poison. You'll continually blah, 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 receive poison damage until you cure it. Well, you know what? Kind of have a lot of cures, so let's... Wait, do I have a lot of cures? Yeah, yeah I do. Okay, good. Damn, yo, he's fucking huge! What?! That's crazy! Here, fucking blaze it, yo! And also cyclone it. Uh, gold? Increase the chance that I'm to drop gold. When did I get that? Uh, let's see, what else? What else can we do? Uh, he's probably not that hard, so let's just let's go with that. Hmm, I'm not sure if that up attack is worth it. Bouncing around. Maybe he'll... No, he's not going to come back around to me. Uh-oh. There we go. It's all about the positioning. Shit. God damn it. I really should have uh, avoided that. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Fucking. Wait, did he change? <laughs> Healing tonic. Why is it now like a sexy mushroom? <laughs> I'm, I'm confused. Oh shit, it poisoned me. Still doing damage to him. Her. It. I should probably drink another antidote. Alright, well. Yeah. Ah, oh, crap. I could have got her to juggle there, I think. Here, I think I want to swap out that freeze lance to something else. Um, maybe just our basic ice shot. Yeah, I, I think I do want to swap it out for the basic ice shot. And the up attack, I'm not really feeling it, man. So instead of that, let's change it to high thrust. Okay. Oops, that is not the one I wanted to do. Oh, you bitch. Probably could have juggled her even more. Uh-oh. Oh, he's a little guy again. Yeah, I guess he just transforms into whatever the fuck he wants. Uh-oh. Cap got big. I don't, don't know the ramifications for that. Man, I dropped the combo again. Uh, not the combo, but... Failed to, uh... Failed to juggle him again. I was dead. That was weird. It was kind of cool. To do a giant muscle man. And, like... Hot, weird mushroom lady. That left me very confused. Alright, let's get our stuff. I saw a plus two ring in there. Got a ring in there last night. This is draw ring. Draw in nearby enemies. 
Item drop rate. What does that even mean? What does draw in nearby enemies mean? Hmm. What will we swap out? This one, perhaps? Let's go to our equipment screen. I, mean, I guess we could swap out the fireproof charm. The draw ring. Our attack, or I mean, our attack doesn't go up any. So I guess the strength has no effect on our attack. I, I don't really know what the strength actually does. And our defense went up though. Let's see what draw in enemies does. Does it just like suck them into us? Like forces them closer? Hmm. You know what? We should also check the text and see if there's anything. No, not prophecy, alchemy. Notes. Hmm, these are all new. Wandering Chef. Alchemy. Recipes special. Hmm. I don't know where the one that we saw. Blaze antidote. About the shrinking mushrooms and stuff. Bridges of the Street, Mandragoras, Chicken and the Egg. There's a little spear. I mean, maybe it's just this one? No, it's none of these, man. It's none of these. Alright, whatever. Fuck it, yo. We'll just keep going. We'll figure it out. Oh, here's another, uh, checkpoint. Oh! You have to do it. Okay. You just have to do it. Like, just to progress with the level. Okay, that that's a little bit of a bummer. I was hoping that it was more of a, like, a secret thing. <laughs> Look how tiny we are, though. Yeah, we're not going to be tiny while fighting enemies. There's a lot of them, too. Now I can use my up attack. Yeah, I think I like that more than the one that I had. Yeah, I dig it. I can get behind what's, uh, what is laying down. Pretty good, 137 chain. Get our S rank again. We got naturalized. Destroys uh, target artifact or enchantment. Let's see. We can go up to get a key. We can go forward to get a chest. God, this level's huge. Let's go get the chest. Oh, it's another tiny mushroom thing. Okay, maybe there is a secret one. Oh God, there's a bunch of them. Give me the, the grapes and the stuff. So this this chest is very locked. So we'll, we'll see if we can find another opening. Um, I guess we'll go up. Why not? Put more uh, bikini fairies. I mean, I, I guess... Okay, I'm getting some mixed signals here, right? So they're, they're these fairies that are, like, sort of scantily clad. Well, uh, they're more than sort of scantily clad. Which is fine. You know, whatever. Maybe it's just a very warm... Maybe it's a very warm forest. However, why are there ice elementals, then? Maybe it just doesn't matter. And by maybe, I mean it surely just doesn't fucking matter. Give me whatever's inside. We are now officially out-leveled. So we should probably try to uh, eat up and level up. Ooh, speed belt plus two. Dex, running speed 20%, dex 10 up. Dude, that sounds sweet. No, 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 not skills. 
Though, I mean, I should probably level up some more skills. So we got recover from poison. Yeah, we definitely want the, the recovery from poison. So we'll swap that for the speed. I like the vampiric ability, but we're only healing like one. We have like 1500 health at this point. Alright, so let's... Ooh, I want that, that shiny heart apple. I definitely want that shiny heart apple. So we'll head up to the rest area. Get that shiny heart apple. And be vigilant for any tiny cracks that we can go in. Let's see if the merchant can sell anything good. What's up, bro? Ooh, a human! I'm lost in this incredible forest. It must be the fairy forest I've heard about. Well, I'm lost. Uh, area map. Fuck it, yeah, let's buy the area map. Uh, yep, we'll buy that too. Give me that. I purchased the area map. Oh, it didn't give me both of them. Ooh, I'm lost. You bitch. Oh, I didn't, like, I gotcha. Ooh, milk. Uh, we'll buy a couple milks. Hmm, what else? Mars Bangle. Taken in damage dealt, dealt and taken 16% as HP, blah, blah, blah. Speed belt, ancient crystal. Max HP te plus 10%. I mean, that seems pretty good. Um, do we need any of this other stuff? We'll buy some shrimp, I guess. Yeah, I mean, this, this seems fine. There's a lot of, a lot of gold to be spending, but... I think it's worth it. This is gonna be like a lot of. Ooh, we got a trophy. Aryan file. I don't know what that means. Real lamb. Ooh, habaneristo and lamb chop. Alright, so we're gonna spend a little bit of time leveling up our character, because we're a little bit behind at this point. And, you know, can't hurt to level up. So let's also drop a seed in here. Probably an apple seed if we have any. Here we do. Good. Oh, I didn't actually drop it. Just plant it, yeah. I think we needed some extra, too. I think it's like 30 or something for an apple. Nope, nope. Come back to me. And then we'll make some apple sorbet. We'll make some uh, shrimp peppercorn stuff. And whatever else we can muster up. What's up, my friend? Maury's Touring Restaurant. I thought it was time that you'd call on me. I see you have a new recipe. Yep, we do. Grilled lamb and chocolate fondue. All right, so we can do cream stew. We can't do... We can do napple sorbet. I think we can do a couple of these, actually. Oh yeah, we can do three. Basically, it's just determined on how much milk we have. As you wish. So I'm just gonna skip these because I'm gonna do another one. Will that be all? Is that the most XP? 20, 27 hundo plus 630. And the shrimp peppercorn is actually a lot more. It's 4,000. What do we need for that? Just uh, these and shrimp. All right. We don't have anything in our... Oh, we do. We, we have more than enough. We can do all three. Sweet. All right, so we'll just start off. We'll do all the Napple surveys we can. Which will be one more after this. And then we'll do all of Very the well. shrimp... Leave it to me. Shrimp pasta that we can, too. And I think it should level us up at least one more time. Actually, it'll probably level us, level us up two more times. I wish you could just, like, ask him to make multiple Very things. Well. Like, queue him up. Leave it to me. And then he just makes them all at once. That would be useful. Though, so, I mean, they've done a lot of things already to make the game more uh, user friendly, I guess you could say. As you wish. Sweet, so level 39. You want to order? So, what is this called? Yeah, shrimp pe pepperoncino? I, mean, I don't know. I'm usually pretty good with pronunciation, but. As you wish. Pepperoncino? Pe pepperoncino? I don't know. I've never actually ordered anything like that, so. Je ne sais pas. Is there anything else you want to order? Cool. So we got we got some uh, got some XP. 
Oh, you know what? Fuck, I should have used... Don't I have, like, a potion that makes it, makes it so I can, like... Huh. No, I don't need cooler. Increase the XP from eating food. Yeah, I should have done that. Shit. Oh, well. I'll have to remember to do that next time. How's our bags look? 53 out of 60? Yeah, we should probably deposit some junk. I didn't mean to talk to you. But I can still access my box, so I don't care. Um, we, we can deposit some of this stuff. Yeah, because we're only going to use that for cooking anyway. Don't really need it here. I guess we'll just deposit the vampiric ring and the fireproof charm, even though we probably won't use them in the future. Um, are we starting to max out on these? Nah, we'll just keep... We'll just keep at least two of each. You know, just, just, just in case. Okay. That looks fine. We'll keep some of this crap for now. I think you can mix the Napple core with uh, some stuff to create pretty good potions. In fact, why don't we do that? Do we have any low-grade healing tonics that we can upgrade? Yeah, yeah, we do. Okay, so we can do this. And I think, like, this Napple core... Oh, no. Mix juggler. Book. How about just a material and an apple core that makes juggler? Okay, fair, fair enough, game. Fair enough. Let's go in here. Yes. Ooh, powerful foe. It's probably a mini boss. Yeah, fuck it. Let's do it, mini boss. I wonder what sort of mini boss trial stage. I don't know what that means. Whoa, there's two of them! And she's fucking casting spells and shit. Okay. Powerful foe indeed. Okay, so let's let's actually use some of our potions and stuff. And just like yeah, try to try to max you know, max out our damage that we can do. I should probably also chuck some other crap into this. So we can do like rank four toxin. Uh, what else? How how else can we punish these assholes? Blaze? Yeah, there we go. Oh yeah, double juggle. Ah, oh, it tastes so good. Up that chain. I should have enough power to do my yeah. Dodge, dodge to the side. Ooh, crap! Ah, I dropped it. I got to like 300 something though. That's uh, it's not too bad. Most of it was from that. Uh, ooh, that hurt. Most of it was from that. Uh, what you gonna call it? That whirlwind. Oh crap. We need to heal. Let's use a slightly better one. Do we have any rank fours? Yeah, I had a rank four on that other page. There we go. I'd actually rather not fight that one. I'd actually rather fight the one that's almost dead. There's a volcano that I just got. Here it is. Where's the other one? Ah, crap. He's charging. There we go. Actually, I think the other one's technically weaker. Because of his boss meter. Carrot here. Crap, I, didn't, I did not mean to do that one, actually. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to drink another potion right here. We got plenty... You know what? I don't like you. So you can get volcanoed. Yeah, I should probably save it for the area boss. Uh oh. All the enemies do get sucked into me. I see them just like slowly getting pulled in. That's really good actually. I, I like it. I mean, other than the fact that these little fuckers, or big fuckers, are actually like forced to be really close. It lets it, so I, it, it enables me 
Sorry, sorry for the throat clear. And it enables me to be able to uh, group them up and then just kind of like wombo combo them. Uh-oh. With my uh, various abilities. You know what? I think... Um, where's the one that just goes along the ground? Ooh, let's try Blizzard. Whoa, nice! Yeah, that's sweet. I think he is dead. Where's the other one? Get him, get him. Nice! And we end with a two, 228 chain. Still comboing the shit out of that guy. 330. Very cool. Definitely the hardest encounter so far. I ended up using a lot of potions and stuff. But, you know, that's what they're there for, and that's why we save them. For situations like that. That was a ton of fun. I, I really enjoyed it. We still gotta be on the lookout for possible tiny little holes that we can go through. Doesn't look like there's one here. Ooh. I, I can't help but wonder if this ring or this thing that sucks enemies to us draws enemies near. I can't help but wonder if it's going to be detrimental against the boss. Though, hmm. I mean, I'm unsure whether or not I should think or expect the boss to be harder than the challenge that we just did. Trial. Alrighty guys, so I'm going to end the episode here. If you like the episode, um, then maybe leave a like. Maybe even subscribe if you subscribe if you haven't already. Jeez, man. Jeez. Uh, regardless of what you do, thank you very, very much for watching. And I hope to see you next time for more Odin Sphere Leaf Thrizer. Have a good one, all. And I'll see you then.